This episode on Sailing for Power. Look at that. Just look at that. And there's our boat. <laughs> Just can't thank them enough. Like, unbelievable kindness. This has been an ongoing relationship for a few days now. Oh, we're both on. <laughs> Token of our appreciation. I hope they like it. Where are we going, Michael? Going to our new friend's house. <laughs> We're going to stay out without them for the next week. It's unbelievable. There's our boat in the background through the trees. And there's our new humble abode up the back there, not the shed. But behind, you will see shortly. Our own little private harbour here. So you can just pull up at the jetty. We were just about to leave Southwest Rocks when we met Jay and Karen, a lovely couple who we met one day on the river and also happened to own a vacant holiday house just around the corner. Coming down our driveway to our home for the next few days. Thank you, Karen and Jay. Absolutely epic. What a spot. Look at that. Just look at that. Look out there. Look out yeah, the window. I did. I did. And there's our boat. <laughs> Pretty amazing. So we met a couple on the back of the boat. They came up to us while I was filleting fish the other day and uh, said, oh yeah, we watch your YouTube videos. So oh yeah, come on board. So they came on board and we had some beers and super nice couple, Jay and Karen. And um, yeah, they invited us over for dinner and got along like a house on fire and they just said, oh, you know, use the house as your own, just come stay, you know, we've got internet, washing. Yeah, they drove us up to the coffs to do some provisioning, like just super nice couple. Yeah, we've just been staying here for a few days now, did all that washing, it's just unreal. Karen, Jay and Jai have overwhelmed us with kindness the last few days. They've let us stay at their house over there. You know, they, they bought us a, bought us a freaking bag, fish esky for our tender, like just like the full warm and fuzzy kind of kindness that you, you know, it's very rare to see. And uh, anyway, so we've got access to NBN internet, hot showers, unlimited water, uh, washing machine, fridge. And um, so we've just gone on a cleaning rampage. Duna covers, uh, pillowcases, <laughs> mattress We're protectors, floor <laughs> mats. Like just, yeah, the boat's gonna get super clean and just yeah, we're just gonna chill out on land, uh, use the internet, and just just can't thank them enough. Like unbelievable kindness, the generosity is yeah, it's, it's very rare. They they are everything that's right in this world right now. So thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. It's been crazy how much easier everything is on land. Internet, internet and power. So it was raining for like six weeks here and we've been struggling with power. And of course, now that we're in a house, it's been sunny and our batteries have been at 100% every day. But um, it's just been really nice to not have to think, oh, okay, I've only got four hours of editing today in the sunlight. Um, but yeah, it's been just really nice to take that break and ready to jump back on the boat now and head north and um, get up to the reef. So yeah, really looking forward to that. We'd planned to mow the lawns as a thank you, but as the ground was still wet from the flooding, we had to get creative. So that was a fun little encounter. <laughs> so this has been an ongoing relationship for a few days now. So we went to the boat ramp the other day just to throw some rubbish out. And um, I got talking to this guy at the boat ramp and he was just going out by himself to go whiting fishing and got chatting and uh, anyway we ended up going out with him later that night and fishing for whiting absolutely cleaned up we got maybe a dozen whiting yeah, between 10 us. whiting fat whiting. 10, 10 good whiting and then the next night 
we actually went back and he was there. <laughs> so anyway, we ended up tying up to him, having a chat and um, catching and just catching more whiting and that. And then we said, I'll come by the boat, you know, next time you're out. And he just pulled up the back. He's like, I got your yabby pump. He's like, come on, I'll show you how to use it. So he's just um, giving us a yabby lesson. That sounds fun. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, oh. Three. Another one there. Another two there, is it? Oh, the oh. Everyone does it different. They... Oh. I like to be in a bit of water. Yeah, I like to be in a bit of water to start off with. Make it, yeah, That's okay. Because the water's gone off here. Uh, this is the best spot. Oh yeah, right. Don't, right. don't go down a boat below that thing. Right, that, there's nothing down there. Yeah, okay. They're all up here. They're all up here in this top. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. Much water over this flat. Still a little bit of water to yeah. pump it. Yeah, it makes nice. it easier yeah. too. <laughs> if it's too dirty, you can't see the little bucket. They'll come yeah. to the top. <laughs> Trying to get off. There's a trick in it. Get used to it. Thank you. And when you get down to the bottom, you're sucking water from all these holes around. And they all come out oh, of that hole. All... And here they are, poor little buggers are down there, see, on the sleep. <laughs> like you was down the bottom of the yacht. <laughs> the thing is, out of everything, he's just given it, he gave us a yabby pump, he's given us all this information and just hasn't wanted anything. We've tried to catch some crabs to give him. Um, I, I hate not being able to give something back to people, but he just seems like a super nice guy. And he was telling us about the river here and it actually it's it used to run out this exit and they actually closed it all off and diverted it out what is now southwest rocks bar crossing and now we've got a bucket full of yabbies we're probably going to go back down the river and see oh we'll and, just go off the back of the and, boat and uh, have a fish <laughs> catch some whiting so this is what i love about traveling is getting to meet people like that yeah it's really cool we're gonna go have a fish and see if we can get some whiting Nice. Just uh, fishing for a brim. I really want to do a print for Karen and Jay. It's a bit of a thank you, but we have to catch anything. <laughs> we, we caught fresh, fresh neepers, man. Did you get some neepers? Neepers, man. Look at all the neepers in there. Have you eaten a neeper? No. Oh, oh, oh! We're both on. <laughs> It's so funny, we just got each other again. <laughs> we did, we did have each other. I oh, know Michael's got whitey. Oh, nice. That's why I felt it, because that's why we got it at the same time. <laughs> it's a little elbow slapper. It's okay, but I still prefer to just eat the nippers. So whiting, if you're not from Australia, because everyone in Australia loves whiting, are uh, like, are they just sort of like a little baby snook? You reckon? Um, maybe that's the closest thing. It's like a bonefish, but bonefish? way better. But the, the bonefish. bonefish aren't good eating, but whiting are amazing. Give us a close up. So yeah, that's that's a pretty decent whiting. Um, they're really hard to shoot. Really hard to shoot whiting because you usually, you can't really see them that easily. You sort of look for the shadows. They're on the sand and they're the same color as the sand. And you don't really swim over too much sand very often. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really good eating. We took our whiting back to the house to print up as a gift for Jane Karen. We talked through the whole process, but I forgot to turn on the microphone. So we'll save that for another episode. Sorry guys. We made a number of prints to save as gifts and put the finishing touches on a couple to leave at the house. The best part about this process is that the non-toxic acrylic paint can be washed off and the fillets eaten, so nothing goes to waste. What do you got there, Michael? Your little present for them? print, yeah. Little whiting, small token of our appreciation. I hope they like it. With the prints finished, we had one more thing to do before we left. What are you doing there, Michael? <laughs> Just sleeping. Leaving our mark on the, uh, the wall of growth. This is not the first wall we've uh, put ourselves on, is <laughs> Julie it? Julie Rice House is in <laughs> graffiti as well. Um, yeah. They have 11 kids, so 
I don't think they'll notice us. We'll see how long it is until they realise. Mm, they'll have to watch it. They'll see it on the video. <laughs> I don't think they'll notice it before then, surely. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just about getting ready to head north. So yeah, we're just, uh, we've waited long enough. We've probably waited seven weeks here at the rocks for some good water that really hasn't come. So, time to move can. on. Yeah, so, wherever. So we're, we're fully going to stock the boat up. So everything's washed, cleaned, ready to go. And uh, we'll probably leave on Tuesday. Tuesday? Yep, yeah, so far. I'm just enjoying the last few moments of this beautiful property. So nice. So this is the awesome front porch on the house that we're staying at, Jane Currents. It's like 360 degree farmland right around the property. Absolutely beautiful. The uh, boat's just between the trees down there, which you can't see on the GoPro at all, no way. But you, we can check on that boat. So last night was really windy. I just came out. I could see the anchor light through the trees and know that she's uh, not gone too far. And yeah, just an awesome, beautiful property. Nice, big four bedroom house. Um, really beautiful gardens all around it. Trampoline, which had a bit of a jump on yesterday, stretched the legs while I was editing. And um, yeah, this is their little island car that they've got, which scoots, which um, gets us down to the wharf, which is literally like a hundred meters away. And I feel so lazy for walking there, but we've got so much, uh, we've got so much stuff in the back, but yeah, we're just gonna go load up the car now and start getting ready. We wanted to check out the second house on the property that'll soon be airbnb -ed. It's the perfect location to stay when you're up here fishing, as you can just leave your boat in the water and sleep at the house. So it got trashed by the previous owner a bit apparently, and they've uh, bought it and just spent a bit of time doing it up. Beautiful spot. And uh, the boat's just down there somewhere behind those trees. Uh, so this is the this is a cabin off Jane Karen's. Uh, other property and it's uh they're gonna rent it out eventually once they do it up but it's yeah so nice beautiful so like, this was like the log cabin on the resort was this was the primo cabin and yeah it is unreal mm. imagine fishing going spear and bringing the boat up to the wharf and staying here mm, pretty good setup this is awesome it has this nice little rental apartment Still got to finish putting carpet on the floors. Where are you? Yeah. It's perfect. Unreal. Laundry, couple of rooms, bunks for guests, full kitchen. I wonder if they've got MBN here as well. <laughs> TV, bunk room. Such an awesome setup. Like every fisherman's dream, this one. It's in an awesome spot. World class diving and spear fishing on the doorstep. And um, this is the wharf here, which they're currently doing up. These are all the new pontoons. And there is Pop Pow through the bushes there. So pretty epic to be able to stay in a house, tie the boat up at the front door, have a car, um, and be able to see the boat from the house. After being stuck on the boat for a few weeks by ourselves during the floods, we really appreciated the opportunity Jay and Karen had given us to get off the boat. With some work lined up on the Gold Coast, we decided to make tracks and head north. It had felt like forever since we'd sailed anywhere, and I was almost worried we'd forgotten how. Oh, I've missed you. Join us next episode, where we take off north to get ready for cruising season in Queensland. So long, Southwest Rock. And have a very close call with our wind generator. I felt this massive bang in my back. Beautiful solar panel. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications and give us a thumbs up. It all helps. Thanks to our patrons for your ongoing support.
Mi mamá always say, <laughs> mi mamá always say, if you don't catch any peces, it's okay because you can just eat the nippers. 